devour. Devour. I have to warn everyone. Warning. What you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of DSP Tries It. Hopefully I don't have a heart attack. <laughs> this is the third episode where we're actually, well, excuse me, <laughs> Gee, can, you a, can you tell I had a sip of soda? This is the third episode and uh, this is the, the third time where we're checking out Dairy Queen. As I told you guys previously in videos, uh, this was a place that I never really ate from because back in Connecticut, the Dairy Queens that were near me did not do fast food, they just did the ice cream. I'm salivating at the goddamn mouth. Now, last video that I did on Dairy Queen, I actually covered their bacon grill burger. In cannibalism, it's disgusting in my opinion, it's immoral. And a lot of people responded and said, Phil, that's not the right one. You know, the, the one that they're known for is their flamethrower grill burger. It's spicy, it has, you know, good flavor to it, and it's unique to Dairy Queen. That's the one that you should have checked out. So I was like, okay, fair enough. You know, I'm not uh, informed on their food, so I didn't know that. So we went back and we got it. So this is the flamethrower grill burger. It comes in both standard and double. Yeah, if you want a freaking crazy double giant burger, but I got the single. What? I know you're lying. Let's take a look at it. <clears throat> so what does it come with? Whoa, uh, never mind, they gave me a double. For me, thank God. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't even order a double, they gave me a double. I guess, you know what it is? I ordered combo number two, so I guess combo number two comes with a double, which I didn't even realize, damn. All right, what do we got? Look, there's bacon flying off of this thing. Cannibal cannibalism. We've got bacon, we've got some kind of a spicy sauce, there's a tomato, and it looks like, that doesn't look like standard cheese, that actually looks like Monterey Jack cheese on this guy. I'm actually going to reposition the ingredients a little bit to try to get them to fit better, because it looks like, unfortunately, the bacon's falling off some of the pieces here. And quite honestly, I'll be honest, it doesn't look like they really gave me a lot of sauce. It looks like they should have given me a little more and spread it around, instead they kind of just consolidated it into one area. That's a little disappointing. Anything on the bottom? No, nothing on the bottom, and as you can see, this is flame broiled. It is not uh, fried like a McDonald's cheeseburger or Wendy's cheeseburger. These guys put it over a grill, which means less fat and should be healthier for you, although, let's face it, it's fast food. It's not exactly super healthy, so. All right, so this is, I guess, the double. Oh, I want to fuck her brains out. I have no fucking self-control. Flamethrower grill burger, right? Flamethrower, is that what it's called? Flamethrower grill burger, yes. So, let's give it a shot. <clears throat> I'm gonna try to do is get a bite that has the sauce in it, although, like I said, there's not a lot on here. Here, this side has the sauce in it. Devour. Devour. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh, the sauce is very flavorful. Mmm. It's also pretty spicy. Mmm. Well, I'll tell you right now, the primary thing that sells this burger is the amount of meat. It's a huge amount of meat. Look at this. Finally, I did get a mouthful of meat that time. Oh, I got a mouthful of meat and a little bit of sauce. You feed, feed me more. Feed me, Seymour. Feed me. Go, 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 giant double burger it's basically a double quarter pounder so it's about a half pounder of meat um the sauce has a lot of spice almost tastes like a sriracha sauce it has a kick to it but there's also a little bit of tanginess to it as well i can't really taste much else a little bit of the monterey jack i got i'm gonna take another bite see so if i can get a little bit more flavor out of it devour devour Oh, it's, it's gross. My disgusting pig-like mouth. Mm. Whew. So now I can actually, wow. I can actually tell you why they didn't put a lot of sauce. It's hot. It's like a spicy sauce. It's actually overpowering. The other flavors of the burger, right? I need a sip. Basically, here's a whiny baby of a soda there because it's so spicy. I don't see any onions. It's not just lettuce, 
one slice of tomato, the bacon, and the burgers with the sauce. It's spicy. It's pretty good. I'll take one more bite. Try to get some of the tomato in it this time. <clears throat> Devour. Devour. Mmm. Mmm. It's good. It's good, but ultimately what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare it to other foods that I've had recently. The most recent spicy uh, burger that I had, if you remember, a couple months ago was the spicy sriracha burger from Jack in the Box. I'm going to be honest. This is bigger. This has way more meat to it, so it's a more substantial burger. But I don't think it tastes as good as that spicy sriracha burger, because remember, that sriracha burger had jalapenos on it. It had a, a hearty amount of the lettuce and tomato. This barely has anything. I think they were a lot more even with the ingredient distribution and the flavors combining with that burger. Also, that burger was on sourdough. This, as you can see, is just on a standard bun. So honestly, if you're going for filling factor, this is huge. A double burger, a half pound of meat, lots of spicy flavor. This is the way you want to go. But if you're going for overall flavor, I think that the spicy sriracha burger over at Jack in the Box was a little bit better. So this is just kind of eh. Kind of similar to the other stuff that I had at Dairy Queen. It's just kind of eh. It's not anything that's amazing, but it's not bad. It's just a different option if you don't want a standard burger. I would probably give this a 2.5 out of 5. Right down the middle. Nothing great. Nothing bad. The price, by the way, I believe on this burger for itself is around $4. I think it's a little less or more in, ch in change. The combo's around, uh, I think, around $6 to $7. Because you get the fries, you get the soda, or whatever you want with it. But I'm going to give the Flamethrower Grill Burger at Dairy Queen... A 2.5 out of 5, it's average. They are very high in acid. It's true acid levels for your body. So if you actually eat a lot, you're actually going to raise the natural acid level of your body and make yourself susceptible to diseases that have to do with acid, including one that I know to all too well, gout. Um, I learned the hard way. Okay. Phil's a gouty fat butt. Phil's a gouty fat butt. Phil has gouty fat butt. That's it for DSP Tries It. See you guys next time. Alert. Everyone listen. Drop what you're doing. Stop talking in the stream chat. Listen up. Because I know many of you, I say this every day, you're not listening. Listen up. This is serious. All right. Listen up. Uh, Twitch is now gone. I got the chair. <laughs>